Welcome back to Transparent Physics. This is another episode in the Just Data series. And today we're gonna to be looking at how radiation levels change as you get closer to a source and giving you a chance to analyze the data on your own. And speaking of sources, here he is, cesium-137, likes long walks on the beach and uh, crossword puzzles. He also gives off five microcuries of radiation, so he's not that strong of a source overall. Setup is as follows. I've got a Geiger counter on a track on the lab table. The Geiger counter is kind of old school. It does have three scale settings, times one, times 10, and times 100. And also it has that little audio cue that goes off whenever radiation pings it, because you know, that's fun. And the source is at the other end of the track, mounted in a bit of clay to keep it in place. And where did the source come from? Uh, well, years ago, I attended a, a workshop from the US government on uh, radiation and radiation protection and issues like that. And uh, they gave us a big box of treats. Uh, FCDA stands for Federal Civil Defense Act. And it's a lot of stuff that they uh, were tired uh, because they were shutting down like the fallout shelters from back in the day. So we're gonna start off with just the times one scale and I'll come back on uh, when we get to the times 10.
because we buried the needle, I'm going to change the setting on the Geiger counter now to times 10, which means anything you see on that needle reading should be read as times 10 what it shows. And because I'm going to be hanging out at the source a little bit longer, put up some lead shielding between myself and the source, you know, for safety. the needle one last time so we're going to click it up to times 100 so remember anything you see on the scale from this point onward 
should be multiplied by 100 to get the actual value. As always, thank you for watching Transparent Physics. If you want to like the video or comment on what you saw or subscribe to the channel, I'm not going to stop you.